What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Review the Reviewer, episode 10. As always, I appreciate you guys coming back, checking out the channel. If you enjoy this video or any of the other videos, consider hitting the subscribe button, click the share button, and click a couple people's names. It takes just a few seconds, helps the channel grow, and we can get some more facts, truth, content, and all the other good stuff to more people. That's how it works. Don't share it with somebody you know in the comments because they're already here. Share it with somebody that you don't normally see in the videos. So this is probably the episode everyone's been expecting and wanting to see. Probably going to let you down just a little bit because I have many positive things to say. And it's, it just is what it is. So again, this is episode 10. This is where it was supposed to stop and this person was technically not even supposed to be reviewed. But since I'm extending the series on indefinitely, well, what the fuck, right? So we are going to be doing Dan C. Bearded's channel. Here we go. So, obviously, Dan C. Bearded, we all know who he is. If you don't, you probably just joined the beard community yesterday. So, Dan C. Bearded, he joined YouTube December 28th, 2010. He started doing beard videos four years ago. Okay, so he's been reviewing beard products for four years. Um, he has 8 million 434,722 views. That is in freaking sane. That is a lot of freaking, a lot of eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? Um, he has 1.3 thousand videos as of right this moment. That is a lot of freaking videos, man. I'm telling you. And 65.5 thousand subscribers. Whew. That's a whole lot of numbers, guys. Dancy is a very successful YouTube beard channel. It is what it is. These are facts. He offers community pages. He offers like a monthly subscription, I guess you could call it, something like that. You join his little private section thing. You know, you pay so much a month and he shows you... I don't know what, because I'm not going to spend my money on it personally, but he does offer those things. He's pretty much covered any and every topic that there is to be done, unless somebody comes up with a new one, or he finds a new one to do. I mean, let's just be real. He's been doing it longer than most of us have been in the beard community, or at least been making videos when it comes to the reviewers out there. Now... How do we do this episode and do it properly? Okay, so let's do the pros. Obviously, let's do the pros first. First and foremost, one of the, if not, well, when it comes to the cold hard facts, not him making money off affiliates, and we're going to get into all that, and again, this isn't hate, this isn't any of that, this is a facts, people, but when it comes to you know, set all of that aside and it actually comes to the actual knowledge of beard products, what's good, what's not, what they're for, you know, all of that stuff. He is one of the most knowledgeable people in the beard game, hands down. Way more knowledgeable than I am about it. Um, I, even though I'm quite knowledgeable, he's super smart about it. He's been doing it for a long time. He reads just as much as I do and quite a few other reviewers hopefully are doing. He, he you know, he knows his stuff. He's had plenty of, he's had four years of reviewing to review many, many companies. He gets paid to do it. That's more incentive to do your homework a little bit more. Uh, you know, all of these little things. Again, we're going to miss a whole lot of stuff and we're going to cover a whole lot of stuff. So again, just bear with me. I'm trying to keep a serious face with you guys and do this properly. Dancy is an extremely well-spoken man. I have referred to him as a freaking car salesman because he talks like a car salesman. He can sell you anything. And that's a good thing to have, especially when you're doing it for a monetary gain. Now that I mentioned monetary gain, this is why I had a huge issue with putting Dan C on Review the Reviewer. Dan C is not a beard reviewer. And this is a fact. He may disagree for some reason, but it's wrong and he's wrong and I can prove that. He does not work anymore because this is his full-time job. And I mean work as in a normal nine to five, whatever. This is his job now. 
So everything he has is going to go into this and he has to make that money so he can provide for his family. He put everything on the line, right? So again, he is an advertiser. He is a paid advertiser. He is an influencer, but he is not, for the genuine sense, a reviewer. In my eyes, anyway, when it comes to that, I guess. I don't know. However you want to do it. But, again, he is a super extremely well-spoken human being. He can chit-chat. I've talked to him many times. We used to be friendly with each other back in the day. He's a very well-spoken, you know, for the most part, pretty nice guy to speak to, honestly. Uh, he's a very likable person. You know, he, he seems to me to be one of those people that just doesn't really meet a stranger. You ever heard of that? My wife's that way. She talks to people, and I'm like, who the hell is that? I don't know. She, you know, it just is what it is. Uh, super intelligent. I mean, he's freaking smart. He knows how to do things, whether it be for good or for bad or whatever it is. But he's very, very smart. And he knows how to, and this is kind of another pro, he knows how to portray himself. He knows how to expose his character, I guess you could say. I don't know how to describe it, but he is a very, very smart, smart guy. He knows what to do, what not to do. He knows how to pay attention to his analytics to see what people are liking, and if they don't like it, he kind of avoids that, you know what I'm saying? He's very, very smart when it comes to this whole YouTube game, in the beard review terms of it. Again, YouTube, it's a super tiny channel. It's as small as somebody that just started out with one subscriber in the beard review world, compared to what he is with YouTube as a whole, which is nothing wrong with that, but he is super, super smart. Tons of videos. He has videos on any and every subject. I don't care what your question is. If you type in Dan C. Bearded and whatever question you have, Dan C. has a video about it. There's very few times I have typed it in while I've done research and whatever that I have been able to type in something and him not pop up with a video. He has a video on everything. And that's super handy, especially for his followers. If they want to take the time to find out something, he has a video for them. I have, what, two, three hundred videos, maybe? I, don't, I can't remember. That's a drop in the hat, right? Like, it's insane the amount of videos he has. The next one is... Oh, he has been... One of the main reasons the beard community has probably gotten as big as it is. He's a big part of it, we'll say. Um, he's put in a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort into the beard community as a whole. Whether it be for whatever reasons, or for a company, or for whatever it may be. But he's put in a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of homework, a lot of knowledge, and all that. He has done it, and I give him applaud for it. The guy's able to quit his job and do this full time and make more money than he was at a normal nine to five. That's awesome. Super freaking cool. No doubts there, right? So let's go to the cons. I have a huge list. I've narrowed it down to some of the more important ones and then a couple I might rabbit hole on just a smidge. But here are the cons of Dan C. Bearded's channel. I had mentioned he has tons of videos on just about every topic. And a lot of those videos are either extremely similar to an old video, if not identical to it. How many beard trim videos do you need? And stop before anybody says anything. I get it. Some people aren't going to take that time to look back at an old video. Or maybe he's learned a new technique or this, that, and the other. I get it. There's those little tiny things, but it's the same freaking video. We don't need the same video over and over, or one that's almost identical to another one. There's just no reason for it. It's just putting a video out to put a video out. Um, super biased. Let's be real. He is very biased to his affiliates. He is very biased to every company he gets paid to review. If he's getting paid to do it, and I get it, there's been a few times he says things don't work, and oh, it's not for me, but again, it goes back to the intelligent part, Dan is very smart, he knows how to, you know, if you start doing negative things with a company, that spreads, companies don't want to mess with you, blah, 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 but again, 
super biased. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sure there are some times when he's not being, and he genuinely likes the products. I would say Beard Octane and Detroit Grooming are definitely two of his favorite companies. He uses them all the time, he says, and he, you know, supports them a ton. But again, I think he is super biased. If not, it's maybe just some way he's portraying himself to be, and it comes off as super biased. I do think monetary gain, especially when your livelihood is depending on it, you are going to do whatever it takes to make more money. Here's an example. If my income is based on how many oils I can get you to buy, I'm going to tell you that it's good. I am going to hype it up and I am going to use my name and what I've built over the last four years for you to trust me and for you to buy that stuff. Now, I'm not saying every product he supports is bad. I'm not saying every one of them is good. I'm just pointing out some facts that, again, the man's very smart. He knows how to use that stuff. Is there anything wrong with it? No, there's nothing wrong. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. It's a freaking free country. Do I agree with it? Do I think what he does is all of it is right? No, I think some of it is shitty and dirty as hell, but it's his channel. He can do what he wants. Very, very contradicting. There are many, many, many things, and these are actually going to be in different episodes of different things that I'm going to be doing next year, but he is very, very contradicting. He Just one of the examples don't buy snake oil company style stuff. Not, I think there is a company called Snake Oil. We're not talking about that. But he talks about beard growth oils, how they are a scam, and why you should avoid them. Yet he pushes them. Why is that? Because he is biased to those companies. Because he made it. Again, he's using that name that he's built over four years and that crowd of people that he reaches out, you know, that watch him to make his livelihood. And I think it is dirty and I think it is a scam and I think it is a effed up thing to do. And I wish he would stop. I truly do. He, there are so many people out there I watch and I know I shouldn't say it the way I do, but they drink his Kool-Aid and get super, super drunk on it. You know what I'm saying? And they will spend their money. And again, hey, do what you do. But again, I think he is very, very contradic contradicting. I think I've already mentioned this, but another one is he uses his name and what he's built up over time. As far as when I say built up, his trust, his brotherhood, his I'll always be there for you. You know, that's, you know, I do what I do to build your trust. So I'm not saying, you know, hey, I use my trust that I've earned with you for a different, you know, for a different reason. So you know that I'm being honest with you. He uses it for monetary gain, in my opinion. But again, he uses his name that he's built over the last four years, and I think that's shit. Here is an example. This company has been around forever. This is one of the top dogs, and they put out this garbage now, and they're selling it in 55-gallon drums for $1.50 a freaking bottle. Not literally, but you get the point. They're using their name to sell you garbage and still making profit off of it. It's insane. But they're using that high quality name that they used to have to give you nothing. And this example is exact. This is Dan C. Okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, get you one of these oils and find out. So, up next. And I've noticed this in the comments, and I've had people that I'm not necessarily friends with, but they watch Dan C and they watch my stuff and they watch just about everybody. But I've had many, many screenshots sent to me where he's in the, somebody's in the comments on one of Dan's videos and they say, hey, well, didn't you say before that you shouldn't buy a snake oil? And he says something pretty fucking just douchebaggy, basically just blowing it off and, you know, being super negative towards that. And that kind of, in my opinion, shows that it's, if you don't like what I'm doing, get the hell on. And I respect that because I'm the same way. But I am going to be honest with that person and I am going to tell them what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, well, I guess you're just hanging out with the wrong crowd, blah, 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 in a super negative way. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be like, hey, man, well, what about this? What about this, this, and this? I'm going to point out all the different facts instead of kind of just, hmm. 
It's another form of bullying, but in a super nice, trusted teacher type of way. And I think it is dirty. If you associate, let me give you an example. If you associate with me and you are well known to associate with me and you get on his comments questioning his, what he's saying, I promise you, you either will be ignored or you will get a smart ass answer or you will be shunned by multiple other people or you will have an army of Kool-Aid drinkers attacking you on every single video you put out or anything else. I know this from experience. So I think that is a super big con. Dan C should handle Dan C's business and be very clear about it. You can be transparent all you want, but if you're not being honest in your transparency, what the hell are you doing? You're not really transparent. Um, those are the biggest cons in my opinion. I think they are what makes the channel bad, in my opinion. He uses his trust that he's built over the time, and I'm not saying everything about Dan C's channel, again, is wrong. I think he does, I don't, I'm not going to say he does a lot of things for the community. He has helped the community keep eyes, you know, people keep eyes on it. I 100% agree. But giveaways, he's not paying for those. Companies are that are paying him to be on the channel. Um, you know, it's just not, it's just, it, yeah, you, you, you honestly get my point. I mean, it, it's insane to be what I would consider probably a good person in real life and use all that positivity in such a shitty and negative way. People tell me all the time, he's done so much more for the community than you ever will, Andrew. Blah, 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 blah. Again, what is it he's done for the community? Well, he's made the Carrier 101 series. Go to Google. I've said this a million times, including myself as a reviewer and someone that teaches, tries to teach people things. You could have already looked all this up on Google a decade ago. It was already there. We're not teaching you anything as far as the actual science part of it. We're not teaching you anything that you couldn't have already looked up. We're just putting it in a platform for you. Let's just be real about it. That's what we do. The only thing we do as reviewers are try to paint a picture of what something smells like, what it feels like. That's pretty much it. And, I mean, that's about all you can say about it. But, again, there are a lot of positive to Dan C's channel. Again, don't think just because I think that the 101 series is basically useless because you can just look up each individual oil on Google, but it is nice to have it there in one spot. Again, there are pros and cons to everything. Now, what do I think that Dan C could do better to make his channel better? First and foremost, he should have never quit his job and done this. Why, you ask? Because he's always going to be, in my opinion, portrayed as the guy that put everything on the line which, I mean, I get it. He's taking, a, taking his dream to the next level and all this, that, and the other. But he's, he's taking it to a point where he's going to do whatever he has to do to make money. His family's lives depend, depend on it. His bills will not get paid. His family cannot have clothing. They can't have food. You know, all those things are taken into account. And what is it Dan C is willing to do for you? Let me back that up. What is... Dan C going to do? Is he going to take care of his family or is he going to worry about your pocketbook? I mean, it is what it is. His family is going to come first. And I think that the minute he did that, it just made it worse. And I'm not saying it wasn't getting bad before that. I mean, I get it. Do what you do, Dan. I'm super happy for you that you're able to do that. I think it's awesome. Uh, I truly do. I get it. You're going for your dreams. But again, Oh, one more con. I'm so sorry. This is the one that I wanted to talk about that I didn't write down. Stop begging for money. Do not tell us about your dreams and how you want us to donate money to help you pay off your debts. Those are your debts. Don't ask us to pay them off as viewers. I think that is one of the most embarrassing, bum-ish things that a human being can do, especially a man. A man with a wife. A man with children. Do you want your children to 
you know, you know, that's just my thinking. I, I wouldn't want my son. Let me bring my kid into it instead of his, because again, he's got a beautiful family. I wouldn't want my son growing up on the internet begging people to pay off his debts. I think that is such a shitty thing to do. I think that is the opposite of what every man should be taught, raised, and you know, to to that's not how you're supposed to grow up. I think it is a fucked up thing. I really do, and it really irritates me when there's this. Again, this is just scratching the shell of my opinion on a lot of the things, and there's so much stuff that I can't even think of all of it right now. But guys, this is what would make the channel better. Stop. And again, <sighs> he's not going to do it. He can't. His family is depending on it. So what is it he can do to make his channel better? Nothing. He needs to just ride it, the ride the pony to the ground, and that's all he can do at this point. There's nothing else he can do to make his channel grow more except do the same thing he's doing, have his circle protect him the best he can, and him play it smart and try to play chess and not checkers. That's my advice for Dan C. I truly wish him nothing but the best. I wish no harm on Dan C, guys. I know you want me to just bash him and hammer on him, but there are so many good things about his channel. They they just kind of neutral out, almost neutral out, not really, but I'm not going to bash the guy. He's been super successful. He has been a part of my beard journey in the past, and it is what it is. But let me know what you think about Dan C's channel. I want to know your opinions. Please get in the comments and let me know what you think of Dan C's channel, what you do like about it or don't like about it, and what you think could make it better if it's even possible. Appreciate you guys for giving me 22 minutes of your time. I will catch you guys on the next episode, episode 11. Again, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below, and I will catch you guys later.